Oh yeah. Hi, I'm Tristan Rogers and welcome to PS After Dark, where we have got some great music, some great interviews, we've got a few surprises too. Yeah, one of them's in this drink. Uh, follow me. From beautiful Palm Springs, welcome to P.S. After Dark with your party host, Tristan Rogers. Tonight, we find out whether our mystery guest is Tristan's ex-wife or not, with musical guest Tim Gross returning because he's sleeping with the creator of the show. Outrageous! With Tim Gross manning the piano, barmaster Griffin Wade revealing his favorite drink, Kelly McQuinn giggling by the pool, Bella DeBall, and our usual cast of ne'er-do-well locals. Come on in and grab a drink. It's your night out. We've got a VIP table waiting just for you. Yeah, these are tasting better and better. Cheers, bro. Well, they are just the way I like them. Two olives. Dry as a desert. Uh, dry as a daisy? What does that mean? Desert. Oh, desert. It's that accent again. Dry as a daisy. It's the way you listen to it. It's how you hear it. <laughs> so you live in the daisy. No, sorry. no, I live in the desert. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You're in the daisy out here. Well, you know what I was thinking? Ever since the shutdown happened and then, you know, kind of things start up and then you don't know what's going on, I have just gotten so unbelievably lazy. I mean, I've always been lazy. But now, you know, I used to have to drive to L.A. to fly out for gigs all the time. Mm -hmm. And now after barely leaving the house for so long, I love doing this show here in Palm Springs because we're already here, which is awesome. Right. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just a, a chore getting back into it. But You know, uh, I have to say the worst thing about the uh, pandemic and the lockdown and all the rest of the crap that went with it, I started out with a wine cellar, which was the envy of everyone in the street. And now I'm down to one bottle for two buck chuck. Oof. Boy. So that's your exercise, I guess. Walk into the wine cellar. <laughs> hey. You could it takes a lot of work to pick out the right one. Do you get two of them and you can do curls as you're walking sure. back? Sure. Well, they don't work too well when you're empty, but, uh, you know, what can I tell you? <laughs> you could do a, yeah, you could sell a workout video course. Have you thought about that? The wine? I've thought about it, but not for very long. <laughs> Uh, well, this is going to be fun tonight. I'm, I'm going to be doing another song tonight, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Good. Yeah. You know the great thing about P.S. After Dark is the people we've had on and are having on are just superb. Um, I don't have a bad thing to think about any of these people. It's such a great choice. Well, so far, but do you know who we have tonight? No. Yeah, I don't either. It's a mystery guest. Oh. We don't know. It's the dartboard. Yeah, yeah. So it could be somebody that we love. Yeah. Maybe it's somebody that we hate. Because, you know, like reality TV, Ooh. they bring out somebody that, uh, you know, you yeah. want to make sparks fly because that gets ratings. You don't suppose they'd book my ex-wife, do you? Oof. Oh, that, that would be compelling TV. That, that would be a real shitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, who, what would my worst guest be? Uh, maybe the kid in ninth grade camp who showed me his penis. I don't know. Yeah, that'll always do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't remember his name, but uh, so if they introduce a guy, I don't know his name, and he's he's got his so flying. Not your old flasher, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> 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 well, uh, hopefully it'll be a fun guest. I, I can only assume that they've lined us up with something that's going to be fun. Yeah, and someone who keeps the clothes on. <laughs> yeah. Sip, sip, hooray! <laughs> So, Tristan, do you know who our guest is? Because I don't. Shit, I thought he was a friend of yours. I, I have no idea. It's not that guy that comes out to wash the cars. Uh, oh. Yeah! Hey. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is my friend Siggy Shershin. That's right. Uh, a fellow that? bandmate of Rick Springfield's. This is our bass player. Really? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, good to good. see you. Right. Would you like a drink Hi. before I throw your I ass out I would really here? love that. Thank there you, you very right, much. Up. That I believe. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing, Tim? Good, man. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Indeed. That's indeed. Mm -hmm. I've been uh, touring with Tim for about five years with Rick Springfield now. Oh, I okay. And yeah. Yeah, I heard you uh, have some, uh, you, you, you worked with him before? Before you were born, my dear. I bet, well, I don't know how long ago was that. About 1960. Yeah, that's before me. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm assuming you're out here for the golf because you're a big golfer. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Until I got here, I found out that it's 114 yeah, outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's so, kind of bad. Plan. Yeah. So Siggy is one of the only people I know who has bettered himself during the uh, the whole shutdown. He's uh, gotten in better shape. He dropped like you said, like 20 pounds. 20 or pounds. Like that. Yep. Did a little cleanse. Yeah. You're yep. all you're all tan. It you was really uh, it was really a tough. Uh, you know, we all know how it felt and all this. So. Yeah. It looked like you've you've reinvented yourself. I kind of needed to prove to myself that you can do something. Uh, you know, you can uh, get out of the funk and get in there. We must try that sometime. You know, yeah. um, let's let's put that down as a tentative on the bucket list uh, plan. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so, what do you really want to do, Zeke? <laughs> what I really want to do is to get out there and start playing again because that's something I've been missing a lot. You know, performing for the people, give them love and. For me, just to get out of the house and get away from the missus. That's right. right. Yeah. I really did that good. <laughs> <laughs> got a little divorce going on there, so got rid of that one. Everybody's had one. Yeah. Do right. you so. like that live feel, like getting in front of a crowd? Oh, I live for it. I live for it. It's really uh, the energy right before you're going right. to go on. Yep. Kind of like what I felt like going out and talking to you guys. And see how this is going to go, but well, a little uh, bit different. Well, the thing, I don't know. It's kind of the same build-up, you know what I mean? Like, well, the funny thing about Siggy, not funny thing, the awesome thing about Siggy is that he gets really amped up when he's playing. And he said that when you were uh, learning how to play an instrument in school, mm. that you moved around so much that what do you say they drew a box? Yeah, well, that was <laughs> actually uh, in church. Oh, I played church. in church for a little bit, and uh, you went to church. Uh, well, I used to play in church when I was like 15, 16 years old, and they would put a little X on the box on the, on the stage and said, "You're taking the, way, the attention away from Jesus." <laughs> <laughs> what? So um, I don't think so. The no, worst thing I, can, uh, I didn't last in church. The worst thing you can do is take attention yeah. away from Jesus. So, the same thing <laughs> happened with uh, when I started playing with Rick. And uh, the first show I did, I had a plug-in, you know, like a, a, a cable. Well, you can't take attention away from Rick. I mean, that's going to no, lose No, 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 exactly. It's impossible, first of all. Uh, second of all, um, you know, when you have a cable, you kind of get stuck around the amp or whatever. Right. So, so he goes up to me at the, after the show. I was like, do you want a wireless maybe? And I'm like, go around looking in the eyes. I like, go, well, are you sure <laughs> you want this? Because the dog's going to be off the leash around the stage. You know, I love to run around and entertain. So. I and, completely yeah. think that a whole lot of people think that you're the guitar <laughs> Yeah, guitar Glenn Kimball wasn't so don't, much into it when I was playing with him. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'm also, he's like, you can just stand by. Glenn Campbell, you know, the country oh. singer, and, the, and the, he had a TV show. And, Where's uh, he at now with his Alzheimer's? Oh, I think he died. He's yeah. passed away he not died. that long ago. No, it was well, a couple of years ago. A couple of few years ago, yeah. I thought he was still around, but just didn't tour. No, he had no. Alzheimer's, and then he... Uh, uh, we did the uh, goodbye tour with him. I remember that. Yeah, and then we made a document. Uh, I there was a film crew out there doing the That's documentary. That's what I saw, the yeah, documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see me up there when we're at uh, Jay Leno, and uh, Glenn stops the whole band, and he turns over, and, uh, are you a bass player? <laughs> he hated bass players for 25 Why? years. Why? It's a very good question. Fred Carnegie, I think it was, uh, and he stopped the whole band, and like, Turn over to me. He's like, Are you playing Dar Dar? You know, <laughs> in, in, in the middle of a show. Yeah, in the, in the middle, middle of, of a show? Second show, in front of ten thousand people, stuff like that would happen a lot. You know, but um, I loved it. It was a great experience, really good experience. He's an incredible musician. By the way, see how, how about how's this for a connection? Uh, Tristan is a drummer, and his band once warmed up Zoot, Rick's band Zoot. Really? In Australia. Yeah. In Australia. Yeah. How about That's that? That's a couple of months ago, too. <laughs> that was a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a crazy thing. Yes. Connection. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I remember the night, and these guys all turned up, and it's like my band, which are all big guys, mm. and Zoot turned up in their pink costumes. Did they really? <laughs> I'm looking at this going, it was like, you know, a WTF moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, you know, I got up, they performed. Well, we performed, everybody, they only did like 20 or 30 minutes, I think. No, that's and they left yeah. to do another one. Right, 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 right. They were pretty big in the, at the time. I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not sure. So, your next gig is the same time as your next gig. 
it is. We're mm. getting the band back together. That's right. That's good. That's I like right to hear that. That's really cool. It is, you know, I'm looking so forward to it. Well, it's good you're excited but, about it. Yeah. That anticipation I can't that wait to get that energy. You, you know, just, just as much as I do, Tristan, that, you know, music playing live is sort of like a release of energy, you know. It's, a, it's all this build-up stuff, and then you get it out on stage. And that's what well, I for me, it's an audience, because I'm not performing right. music. I'm just sitting up there answering questions. But mm. for me, it's uh, that... that that uh, that audience connection yeah. is really important, especially in the line of work that I yeah, do. Yeah. You know, uh, I wanted to ask you, have, is there anyone you, of these like big celebrities that you meet all the time that really just floors you? Like, that just, I mean, like you get stunned, you kind of feel like, oh, I don't even know how to talk to this person. Or, because I had that with one person, and I don't really get scared well, very often. Well, one of the reasons that Rick Springfield is excited to have you as a bass player is you had a photo with Paul McCartney. Yeah. You're back in an award show. Go to, yeah, and, and I, you, I never stiffed up like that in my entire life. And you, you went up to him and said, can I get a picture? And he said, yeah. And so you had it. And soon after that, you said he stopped doing pictures because after that, everybody had cell phones. And so if you say everybody could take your picture. Sure. So, but he's yeah. got it. And uh, yeah. it's half of why Rick wanted you in the band, probably. Yeah. <laughs> he liked that picture. <laughs> <laughs> when he was looking at my, uh, my I don't face, think but. I've ever been intimidated by anybody. Right, right. Um, Little starstruck, maybe. People are intimidated by you. That's, there uh, you sorry, go. I'm not even sure about that, anymore, <laughs> especially not anymore. But, uh, but no, I've never, I mean, I've, I've always enjoyed to be around um, celebs, yeah. and I've always had questions. Yeah. You, know, you remember such and such a movie, and this happened, and that happened, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. Mm. That's... The, my kind of approach to a lot of people. Yeah. But in there. terms of going, oh! Yeah. No, no, no. no. I, like, I like the way you did that. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm <laughs> not a collector of like autographs or pictures or anything like that. I don't really, I don't really do that. Yeah. And I was backstage after we did the rehearsals at the Grammys. What are we going to do with Glenn, by the way, with Glenn, Glenn Campbell? We were done and I, I watched him do the rehearsal. I really like the drummer, mm. Abe Jr. And, and I, I met him before, so I could chat with him a little bit. And then, you know, I see, right. you know, the, the king is just walking off. And I was like, I don't do this. How do you even approach somebody with something so, you know, I don't know what even to call it, to go yeah. up there. But somebody snuck up and did it. So I was the first. So I go, screw it, I'm going to go do it. <laughs> what do you think about pop music now? Where it's at? <laughs> First of all, I haven't educated myself on a lot of the new stuff. Uh, the mumble rap, I don't get it. <laughs> if you ever heard about that. I'm not familiar with it. I don't, yeah. I am, uh, I feel like it's, it's, it's getting a little convoluted and, 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 and like a really, really watered out whiskey that you can right. barely taste uh, the, the whiskey anymore. That's what, what I feel, but I, I, there's a lot of talented people and, and producers and, and, and productions out there and, and good singers like, uh, I have a hard time saying her name, uh, Ariana Grande, is that how you say it? That's it, yeah. you got it. Ariana Grande, yeah, yeah. something like that. She, f she's a great singer, but you know, not my cup of tea. Siggy mm. just learned to, how, you've only been speaking English for, Siggy got a call in Norway yeah. uh, to, to come do a gig in the United States and you had to yeah. leave like the next day or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. when was that, how long that ago? That was, was that? 20 years ago and I barely spoke a word English. I thought, because I'm from Norway, so, I didn't do great in English in school at all. I didn't so really the, understand yeah. why I was going to learn English when I speak perfectly Norwegian. Right. <laughs> but you literally like that normal thing that you do, right, when you live in okay. a different country. Anyway, so now, uh, uh, long story short, this guy saw me. Uh, he, said, he called me up on the same club that he saw me uh, like three weeks ago, say, hey, uh, how would you like to open up for the Depeche Mode? And I go, that sounds fun. Let's do that. Uh, well, we had auditions yesterday, today, and tomorrow, so you got to come now. So I just basically did that show that night, uh, packed up, said goodbye to my girlfriend, left at four in the morning, flew out, never been in LA before, landed, I saw this guy waving, like, come with me, stayed on this couch, we became best friends. I went just like this, you know what? Yep. <laughs> and, Learn the songs, go up there. I found out later, after this audition, that she had tried out, Poe is her name, tried out like 35 bass players and didn't like any of them. And after the second song, she is pulling me behind her in my hair. I had a little longer hair back then. 
and singing like her song, you know, and pulling me backwards. And, you know, I'm playing the bass while I'm doing this. And obviously she loves me, right? And um, the rest is history, man. We went on tour. Well, Siggy, I'm glad that you came to the United States and I'm glad you're here today. Yeah. I did not know you were coming. That I know. Surprise. I know. We were going to so Glad to have you. Bit. Thank you for um, playing uh, along. Yeah, how about... Yeah, of course. How about we... Uh, End this, and we'll go refresh our drinks. And uh, let's I do like that. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Yeah. You too, man. Really, awesome. real pleasure. Buddy. Come and see. Really was. Thank <laughs> you for having me. Hey! Well, you know, when I get bored, I do something interesting. I rub dried herbs on the palms. And this does what? Well, makes me realize I have too much time on my hands. <laughs> get I it? Walked, I walked into that, didn't I? <laughs> time? Yeah, I get it. Like parsley, sage, <coughs> rosemary, yeah, and... and time. Ah. Oh, song. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we should take this on the road. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Hi, my name is Spencer Sherbert, and on tonight's episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a drink that's very near and dear to my heart. This one's called the Go Home. You're going to start with a nice, beautiful martini glass, just a couple of ice cubes, and a whole bunch of water for that nice drive home. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Go. Oh now. Like, fucking go. Like, seriously. Like, get the fuck out. Seriously. You gotta go home, man. It's been like 12 hours. Are you fucking paying me or not? Please welcome my buddy, Tim Gross. Oh 
for so much to give you something new But this song was the best that I could do idea. I think we need some beverages. I do too. I'm a little thirsty, Bella. We've been working hard. I think I'd like to jump in that pool eventually too. Okay. <laughs> I'm concerned about your hair. I'll take it off and lay it on the sidelines. Okay. Is that a flotation device? Well, <laughs> big hair is happy hair, don't you know? It could work. I do. Well, you're the best, Bella. Oh, what a fun night with you at P.S. After Dark, this beautiful setting. And look at all of our friends over there. Hey, kids. Have a great night. Let's go to the bar. Okay, and you know, not only do I laugh with you, but I always learn something. Oh, bless you, my child. <laughs> well, that's P.S. After Dark for this evening. I want to thank all of our guests. I want to thank everybody that was part of this. And remember, well, the show's over, but the party. Well, that's just about to start. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! My house, not my problem. <laughs>